Hi there, this is my review of the North Face Base Camp duffel bags, of which I have several. Uh, I'll just take them out of the back of here. Oh, I have two that are the small size, which are around 50 litres. I have an older style medium, newer style medium. And I've got one in the large size, medium, around about 70 litres, large, around about 90 litres. We'll start with the small bags. Small bags are both the current style, so they have the little zip end pocket at one end, adjustable shoulder straps, a grab handle on each of the four sides. And small amount of daisy chaining for hooking it onto whatever you need to secure it to. It's also got the compression straps down the side. And when you open it up, you have nice big chunky zips and a little net pouch at the top for putting torches or whatever in. Really good access to the bag through the big D opening in the top. These aren't particularly full, just kid stuff for the weekend. But decent size if you're only going away for a short time or you're not carrying much stuff. This one, just same, different colour, exactly the same features. As I say, these are the current style with the little zip pocket on the end. Moving on to the larger size, which is medium. This is the old style medium, so no end pocket on this one. Um, it does have the velcro straps for just carrying it like a duffel bag, as well as the just little shoulder straps. Single big D opening right around the top, and a bit more daisy chain around the side for attaching it. Uh, this style doesn't have the grab handles on the sides, it's just got the big handle instead, but it does have a big grab handle on each end. And again, once you get inside, through the big D opening, big net pocket keeps us separate on the top, and just one big massive space. And this one's just padded out with pillows and blankets and bedding, so you can get an idea of the kind of shape and size of it. The newer style medium, basically the same setup, daisy chain up the sides grab handles on the two ends, duffel bag handles, the velcro on the top, the shoulder straps, but this one has a separate end pocket to keep the gear in and keep it separate, as well as having the net pocket in the top. And the final size that I have is the large, the old school large, with no additional end pockets. But again, grab handle, on each end, nice and sturdy. Daisy chain in up the sides. Adjustable shoulder straps, again, good amount of adjustment. Not ideal if you're gonna be carrying it all day, but it makes it nice and easy to move from place to place. And the kind of duffel velcro straps in the middle. Again, large chunky zip for the big kind of D opening. netted area on the top and then massive space. Now, to give you an idea of size, I've packed this with four sleeping bags, a pillow and a couple of massive woolly blankets just to give you an idea of the size of the thing. All three sizes of bags made of the same material, fairly water resistant, they don't advertise it as waterproof but good coverage as long as the covers are down over the zips. Um, I use that size and that particular bag on my motorbike to carry gear on my back. Nothing's ever got wet in it yet. Uh, on the bottom, they all have ripstop nylon, which is pretty sturdy. This is quite a new bag. This one's been through various airports, it's on the top of cars on the roof rack and camping various times. A few dirty marks on it, but no actual damage. And so they all have the same basic features, 
size wise they just gradually work their way up there are other sizes available and um, I don't have the extra small yet and there's an extra large and extra extra large which are even bigger and when I get those I'll pop another review up